Without objection, the gentlewoman from Texas is recognized for one minute. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Let me thank the Biden administration for work that they have already done. We're asking to have them help us uh, in the closure of the disposable e-cigarette loophole. As the chair of the Congressional Children's Caucus, the administration's work in curtailing youth e-cigarette use is commendable. Vaping and e-cigarette usage among youth is at a historic low. Good news. Despite this, however, the FDA guidance issued by the previous administration that prohibits flavored e-cigarettes fails to include any disposable e-cigarette products currently on the market. This loophole, alongside the appeal that disposable e-cigarettes have for our youth, has influenced a surge in youth consumption. Right now, in smoke shops, corner stores, and gas stations across the country, disposable e-cigarettes are being sold for prices as low as $5 like candy. They're being offered in enticing flavors such as strawberry, ice, apple, mango, and pineapple lemonade, just what a child would look at. Each product is cleverly designed to easily fit in one's pocket, easy to take to school or other places. These products are sleek, affordable, pocket sized highly accessible. A single disposable device can contain enough nicotine as an entire pack of cigarettes. The 19, 2022 National Youth Tobacco Study said these products Usage is up 2,188 percent since 2019. It's a dangerous. Time has Let's expired. get to work. Let's save our children. And let me say, let us celebrate. Happy Black History Month as well. I yield back. 